Uh, yo, welcome back to another episode of the Hours for Midnight yes, Show. Yes, sir. We got myself, Manrov, and a special guest, returning guest, first ever guest that was on the podcast, Reaper Customs, aka my What's best up, friend. What's up, guys? Here. Give it up How's for it Reaper going? Customs, guys. <laughs> We're waiting house. on the crowd. There's no one else clapping. <laughs> if you're in yo, your car, man. start clapping. Take your Whoa. hands off the wheel and start clapping right That's now. It, man. <laughs> That's it, Reaper oh, Customs. Got him in the building again. Yeah, the Thank fuck you for having boys. me, boys. No worries, bro. bro. Let's just start right into it, dog. Like you, we went from the couch over yeah. there yeah. to here. So well, that's crazy, you. man. I yeah. walked in here. I was like, it's a really nice. Uh, looked at the lights and it looks really good, man. You guys have been killing it in the year. I've uh, heard your name go around a lot. So it's been good. I know I've heard uh, a lot of good things. Solid, Fuck, man. Bro. You know what's I crazy, too? It's almost been a year that your episode came out. Your episode came out, I think, towards the end of October last year, like right before Halloween. So to have you on again after a legit full year, it's fucking sick. Because you've, you've seen it from the start. Because you were the first guest. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's tradition now. Yeah, yeah that yeah. episode went hard too, bro. Like, yeah. I know all the people I know from, like, Syrian shit, all these guys, yeah. they loved it, bro. Really? They're like, yo, you don't reproduce customers? That guy's a man. They're yeah. like, yo, I saw that guy at a car meet, like, three years ago. You don't even know, like, the fucking day one and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, damn, that's bro. sick. Yeah. yeah, fucking people loved it. This is gonna be rowdy too. You guys don't know who brought us the sign, bro. That hours before midnight sign. Yeah. Fucking, uh, it's the boy right here. The one right behind us. customs. Yeah. I got a print. Shout out. I had to do it. I was like, yo. Uh, gotta give him something that shit shows up every day. It was day. crazy though, cause like I remember when we first started the podcast last year, it was like uh it was almost like a struggle right away to like have people come on because no one really knew what like what the fuck we were doing. And we didn't we didn't even know what the fuck we were doing to be honest. Like, kinda. We kinda did, but we we're still trying to figure kinda it out. Kinda fucking yeah. So then you when you came on, I think that opened a, a like a really good pathway into like having other people come on. So it was solid. So like I think it started off with you for the guests, because we didn't even know because the first episode was a solo, right? And then you were, since you were the first guest episode, we were able to like branch off of that afterwards. So thank you. No, no need to thank me, man. Around. It's no need to thank yeah. me at all. So, yeah. Yeah, no, man. But we covered like obviously like so much that episode too. So we're not going to obviously do a crazy interview or yeah. synopsis down to your life. So if you want to know more about Nimmer, go check out the first episode. Go check episode. out the first episode, no, bro. OG. Fuck TD Bank is all I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> <Bank's the laughs> oh. Nah, just kidding. I'm wearing yo. green. I can't say that. Yo, like, man. Like they're going to yeah. decline their mortgage yeah. when you get a house. Yeah, yo, that's it. They're going to decline, yo. That's a TD Bank mascot over here. mad Yo, man, what the fuck are you wearing, bro? Can we start off with this? Like, what are we wearing? Yeah, you guys know who's wearing mascot outfits right now. Hot, yeah. I woke up like this. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just yeah, woke I up, just, dri- dripped I on it. I just woke up like this, bro. I just uh, that's what <laughs> it. You know what happened? So like legit thirty minutes before the, uh, the you, like you're supposed to come on the podcast, guy calls me. He's like, "Yo, bro, I have a sick idea." I'm like, "What's up?" He said, "Bro, let's just wear matching like like bugs with like, pu- like puffers, right?" Yeah. And I was just like. Fuck it, why not, right? <laughs> like, I just end up showing up like this, but brought it like the fogs aren't even matching the fucking puppet. No, it looks chill. Yeah, bro. it's totally matching. Yeah, it's totally it, matching. Yeah, yeah, it's matching, bro. But 10 minutes in, you guys will be sweating balls, then we'll see who's matching. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man's not hot, bro. Fuck Yo, it. No, Y'all be bro. sweating. Don't worry, wait 10 minutes. Bro. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm already dying right now. Yo, it's chilling. Can it? You got it for the intro. I'm sweating just looking at you guys, yo. Fuck, man. Man's not hot, yeah. Shit, man. I was always that guy who wore fucking hoodie in the summer and shit. Uh, were you? Oh yeah, my yeah, god, yeah. yo! There's always reason. there's always that crew those in the circle that you have. You need to make fun of to do that, yo. Yeah, we we got a couple of those boys at the shop as well that will just wear the hoodie in like the coldest weather or, or in the warmest weather. Like it will be hot out. But yeah, just wearing a hoodie, two layers on, good on thirty degree days. One yeah. of our detailers got two hoodies on. I'm just like, holy shit. But yo, bro. that shit hits at like seven, eight o'clock when it starts to get dark, bro. Yeah. You fucking go ham in that thing. You guys don't know the vibe, bro. Wearing a hoodie in the heat and shit. Especially if it's a nice house city. That's why you want to wear it too. Not if it's some jungly, jungly hoodie. Then, then it's going to smell like yeah. sweat city in after That's six, good. seven o'clock. You can't go That's out anywhere sick, with anyone bro. that wants to be within six like feet of you. It smells like hard work. I'll be like, if, yo. you, if you can't smell my hard work, you ain't it, bro. No, it smells like you're not paying the water bills. That's what it smells like, yo. Yeah, yeah, you ain't getting no that shower. Reaper, I'm gonna ship that Reaper Yo, <laughs> right into the club. Hey. Right afterwards. I'm gonna get the foam cannon in you know, at the end there. Just get, your, get yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. detailed at that point. <laughs> get Fuck, yourself man. detailed. Yo, so how's everything been with the shop though, man? Like, how's everything been since the last year? What's changed? Shop's been good, man. Uh, it's been uh, it's been very chaotic. A lot of new things on the rise. Uh, we're actually coming out with something really exciting that we haven't told anyone yet. Um, okay. We're coming. Yeah, I'll tell. I'll reveal it. I'll reveal it. It, it. it should be out by the time this podcast. So if not, very very soon. Next week. Um, mm-hmm. We're bringing out our own Reaper Customs product line. So oh, we're damn. bringing out our own detailing products. Oh no! Wheel yeah. cleaners, car cleaners, soaps, uh, interior cleaners, glass cleaners, everything. Uh, we're gonna have our own online store and in house as well. Um, locally, there's not any good stuff, any good products that are priced fairly and actually work. Everything here is all just the same. I'm not
bad quality stuff that it's overpriced and it doesn't really get the job done. But that's what we were trying to change. So we're bringing out some affordable products that are uh, actually work that we use in in our own products in the shop. That's yeah. going crazy, bro. Yeah. Not bad. That's yeah. crazy. You're making it all yourself. Or do you probably partner with someone? Yeah, so we're partnered and it gets uh, shipped out and everything to us, yeah, and then we'll yeah, put yeah. our labels and all that stuff done on that's it. Sick. But that's uh, sick. yeah, that's it's, it's been uh, it's been good. Had a, some more celebrities uh, features in our shop as well since the last year. Yeah. Uh, we had Chris Collins. Uh, the TikToker, br- right? Yeah, uh, she's got Ooh, she's uh, fif- so big fifty on million on TikTok. Which is yeah, insane, yeah, yeah, that's insane, insane, bro. Yeah. Holy, very down to earth. She's from Abbotsford. I didn't uh, know that as well. Yeah, she um, is. She's yeah, she was very down to earth. Wow. Uh, we had Bram Tedlow, Emmett Sandu. Yeah, a few other ones as well. Uh, you did AP Tedlow's yeah. boat. Yeah, we AP's. Uh, yeah, he comes by a fair amount once in a while here, but uh, he's a really nice guy as well. Mm. Solid. Yeah, we can't record anything. Well. Can't record anything though. No, we, yeah, he usually doesn't like recording. But on the boat, it was his uh, buddy that actually brought it by. Uh, yeah. He was out in. Uh, I think he's on his tour right now. Mm. Or yeah, he was in India, um, so he wasn't able to come by. But uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was nice. We're gonna be bringing that thing back next year, and we're redoing the whole interior, that a custom stitch uh, run up records in there as well. So should be good. Holy, oh, that's crazy. That's bro. good, man. I'd say locally too. now, you're like the... like You know in GTA, we used to play... Like, me and you used to play like going to Los Santos Customs all the time. Like, yo, we're running it up, right? Yeah, yeah actually, I remember yeah, those days, Run up the fucking... Yeah. GTA was a vibe, GTA was a vibe. I can't wait for GTA 6. Yeah. Bro, I can't believe... Take a week believe. off from the shop? Yo, 100% <laughs> we're shutting down shop for a week. You <laughs> better believe... GTA 6. You better believe someone's going to walk in there looking for a rap and everyone's going to have consoles and controllers that will play in GTA 6. Yeah. In the same like, yo, come back yeah. next week. Like, yo, next week, man. Next yeah, week. Legit. Bro, that's just low-key like a better car game than like fucking Forza to me, yo. It's my favorite game all time. Yeah. yeah. This guy, me and this guy would play it so much. But this Hard. Guy, this guy came up with a nickname for me. What? Because of this game. Oh, this guy, oh this guy, I, I still day, have it. I still day. let me let me open oh, it up. Heck. Let me open day. it up. Let oh, me go to my here. Snapchat. Oh, here. And you could tell the story why you right. need this nickname. No, you, I'll let you tell the story. We'll hear your side first. <laughs> we'll hear your side of the story first. <laughs> I don't want to give my side, bro. <laughs> bro, what do you mean? Know, yeah. Wait till you hear the nickname, bro. I don't know if I go to the camera or not, but the Snapchat. Yeah, uh, uh, that's his name, Gold Digger. Oh shit, bro! Yeah, freaking Gold Digger. Go ahead. Do you want to reveal yourself of what you what you did? Okay, so damn. This is what happened. Got that gold digger of a partner you got here. Bro. No, no, so oh this is what happened. God, bro. No, no, Doubting no. it. It's real. It's already. real. No, no, no. So this is what happened. So we were playing GTA, right? <laughs> Everyone knows the bank heist. The first heist you can go to oh, GTA, yeah. right? Yeah, so yeah. this motherfucker, right? Was, this guy's loaded up the ass in GTA. Like, actually, to the point where this guy doesn't need any of the money. I'm just starting to play the game, right? 500 right? million. <laughs> this guy's like 500 yeah, like, million. How? Bro. Like, actually, or did you use the hacks? I uh, can't confirm that. Can't confirm can't that. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. No problem. Yeah, so he had all this money. I was like, bro, like, let me just get like 80% of the heist, right? Like you've done it like a hundred times. I don't have any money. I'm trying to get this car. Yeah. This fucker goes And like, I want to mention, I did all the setups. You know how you have to do setups oh, in the yeah, heist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He the wasn't there for shit. the setups. God I damn. did all the setups with random people in the lobby, waiting on the lobby, making them leave. <laughs> new people coming in. Bro, what Because nobody would stick around. Yeah, yeah. Put in the work yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, listen though. Fuck, guy has 500 million. So I was like, bro, it's chilling. Like, just like, let me have like 70%. I don't know, bro. Right? And, like, I don't like, know, bro. You think, Yo, you think if you were gonna answer this, if I have a Lambo yeah. and I'm gonna go get another Lambo, am I gonna go get a Maruti instead? Yeah. Shit. Man. I, am I gonna be oh no Ecti wants a Lambo, can I get it? No man, but it's a game. <laughs> like, Yo, it's the same thing, the man. Same thing, bro. I worked for that. <laughs> Bro, what? Imagine you. <laughs> you didn't. You I worked. I grinded <laughs> hours on there. Might have hacked it. Might have not. Not, not <laughs> agreeing anything. But I grinded on that game, man. Yeah, hours. God blood, damn. sweat, tears. <laughs> no tears. And bro. this man just had the audacity to to change it to 80, take eighty percent. Fucking eighty percent, like, oh, bro. Man. Imagine 80, you like to jack like twenty percent. That doesn't even cover my setup fees, man. Yeah, what the fuck, bro? You can't even buy like anything yeah. with that. You can't even go to grocery store and shit, bro. Yeah, man. Imagine you tell Jeff Bezos, bro, I want eighty percent of the deal because you're already rich. He's I gonna f- slap the fuck out of you, bro. Yeah, I couldn't even put food <laughs> on the table after, bro. Yeah. Like that's it, bro. Oh, bro, bro. Like, go, he's like, I couldn't even get the new rims in Los Santos Customs because of him, bro. God damn. The money I was gonna bro. make was gonna go all to mods, but no. Shit. So did you give it to him? 80%? No, no, it's kind of me and this guy fully. I gave it to him. Yeah, I like, did. I think I gave him like 60%. You gave me 60. Yeah, 60, yeah, yeah. which this, is a lot This still. guy probably never said thank Yo, you. Right? He's no, like, he oh, didn't, man. 60. 60 for when do you find the host that gives you gives away 60%, yeah. man? Where? Bro? I think I know. I think I did give you the full. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Did I, you? I, yeah, I'm oh. sure I did. I think I gave this guy the full amount too. Ecti's always fucking scheming me like that, bro. I was like, whatever, man. Bro, like, I don't know. Do you know what the funny thing is too, yo? The only time you never ever has like a fucking like a jokes ass argument was over the stup
bad argument. I can't Holy remember it fully, shit. but we got heated, bro. Like, <laughs> this <laughs> fight heated, man. No, we threw, actually, <laughs> threw a controller at me. Yo, literally, I got fuck, my controller bro? chucked it at me. Because you know what? What's even going because, down? Because it, wasn't even, it wasn't even online. I went to this guy's house. We were doing like a LAN party situation. It's got a monitor on one side of the TV, the other side. He fucking chucks his controller at me. Yeah, literally, I had a little oh small God. TV so we'd play in the same thing. Holy shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. We, like, we, were, we grew concussion. up together. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Scrapping it over GTA. Bro. Nah, man. That, that, was, that shit's actually defined the whole generation. Bro, yeah. kids now, fucking, I was taking my little cousins yesterday. They're like 15. They're still playing GTA 5, bro. Yeah. And I was like, I can't believe that's the same shit that came out when I was in fucking grade it's 8, crazy. bro. It's crazy. It's the yeah. same goddamn game, bro. At least they released a new one. But they, hopefully soon, so man. Nah, nah, apparently next year? No announcement. 2025, no, bro. 2025? I don't know. Put it on your bro, calendar. We'll bro, wait, no bro. way. Let's check this. Let's check this. There's an announcement that they said they're going to make, but there's nothing there's those shitty ass GT. leaks like a year so ago some hacker fucking hacked it in and was like yeah it's gonna come out 2025 or i mean like cap. i don't think it 2024 is. april 1st oh really B- between t- april 1st 2024 to so march 30th I'm, I'm 20, not gonna, 25 I'm not gonna believe yeah, until yeah, yeah okay 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 until rockstar comes out and says yo i thought it said rockstar announced it <laughs> yeah did they the bro it's like a one-year window it's like april next year to fucking okay, march if rockstar the next. announced it then i'm happy then investor sure. calls. Oh, okay. Then Ross, yeah. Rockstar hasn't, but they did release a trailer recently. No, I don't think they did. Did they? I thought they did. I thought I, I saw a GTA Six trailer. That's just crazy. Yeah. Fuck, man. Games have been so shit recently, though, man. Straight up, I have so not touched the PS4. My, it's so dusty. It's, it's like so ass. It's yeah. dustier than his hairline. Like it's crazy. Yeah, like, holy shit, bro! Right? It's crazy. Man. Like it's yeah. fucked, bro. Yeah. Like I don't know, dude. I like I don't think it's so. literally like way dustier than the hairline. Yeah, bro. way dustier. No, I don't know, bro. Probably. Like uh, it's just empty, man. Yeah. It's like you know, like some things are just like my cup is just empty, just like your hairline, bro. There's nothing there. I know yeah. you're not it's talking. It's just uh, crazy, bro. I know you're not talking. Bro, conspiracy. Here. Somebody make this conspiracy right here. Eric Deep's bald under his fuck. Yo, do you think <laughs> he has <laughs> hair or not? That's <laughs> the question. Like, what, what's going on there? Does he have, a, does he have hair or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, make that's, that's, that's the, the question of the night, right? Oh, <laughs> my God. No, <laughs> man. It, you know what it is? The, like, the games and shit, though, recently have just been so shit. And, like, I feel like... I, uh, but maybe it's because we're getting older that we just kind of don't, like, play anymore. Like, we're not old or anything by any means, but we're like, I just feel like maybe we just don't have time. No, bro, kids yeah. nowadays, they just play Fortnite or GTA 5. That's it. And Fortnite's for all the noobs now, man. You get killed by, like, not even the noobs, but, like, all the tryhards now. You just yeah, get yeah, yeah, destroyed. Yeah. I think I hopped on, like, a Fortnite lobby, like, once on my cousin's uh, PS4. Mm. Hopped on, just got destroyed, man. I used to win first Actually, all the time, just yeah. got destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People start, oh, people, people like, are building, fought. like... Mansions around you before you could even get a wall down, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah they build, are. You build like the Eiffel Tower, and you're like sitting there, like fuck, I can. Build, build two, by two, yeah. two by two little structure over the here. It was kills during lockdown. It's crazy. That was just kills during lockdown. Yo, so one thing that I was want, one thing I wanted to touch on though, right? Is uh, I saw this that you put out a video a while ago. You brought your brother a car. Yeah. And you bought your brother his SRT back. Yeah. So for context, right? So uh, your brother had an SRT beforehand. You sold it, right? Yep. And you just because you just want to get rid of it, got something else, right? Yeah. And then you bought it back. Yeah, not the same, not the same one, but like just a different one. But uh, same, same exact car, but not the exact same one. If that makes sense, right? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, run me through that. So how how was the how's that? Yeah, so we got rid of it. Just uh, I, I think we were gonna look at something else, and uh, even right now, you already know how interest rates are, and it's just, yeah, it doesn't really make sense to to go for something like a little crazier. Mm-hmm. Um, so I got a call and opportunity from uh, a good friend of mine at the dealership. Yeah. Um, and he basically gave him, he gave me a call and he gave me a steal of a price mm. on this. So I, I, it was like a can't say no to deal. So like, even when I go to sell this thing, I'll make some money on it. And he's been, he was in the fusion uh, for a little while and I know he missed the V8 and stuff and he wanted to get one as well. And, and yeah. he actually, I told him about it. In the beginning, like, oh, and he was like, yeah, he wanted it. And I just told him and the deal fell through because I just told him that he wanted it. Like, yeah. like, I told him about the Jeep and he said he wanted it um, just to see if he actually still wanted it. So what I did was um, told him the deal fell through, didn't work out. And then like a month, two months later, uh, the, the Jeep finally arrived, I wrapped it, put his old wheels back on, put his stuff back on and uh, brought him to the dealership and uh, surprised <laughs> him with it. Yeah, that's solid. That's I think, crazy. The thing is, I know your brother, right? So I know he's like more of like a quiet, like yeah. reserved type of guy. Yeah. I saw in the video too, he was kind of just like, oh shit. Yeah, right? he doesn't react. He doesn't really react, right? But like, I know he was like hella happy though. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he a, he's camera thing. shy kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, he was going to buy it like for like himself as well. And I was just like, we might as well just get it for now. It was like, it just yeah, doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a making money opportunity. Yeah. And uh, 
Yeah, he was definitely he. He doesn't react. He just stays quiet, and then yeah. he's yeah. happy. He's very hyped. Yeah, he's so happy, happy man. Yeah, Literally, yeah. Like, first crazy. words in his mouth was like, "He's like fuck back in SRT." <laughs> 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 yeah. There you go. Man. That was really shit, yeah. Yeah, Bro, SRT. that's the thing, right? Like that. Like I remember for the longest time, like your brother would whip us. Like we whipped us around once in the SRT too, like the old one. Yeah, and I was like, "Holy shit, yo!" Like not seeing him in SRT was kind of weird, yo. Not gonna yeah. Lie. Yeah. Cause like I always like seen him, seen him like have that thing. Yeah. But not have it. I was like, yo, what the hell? Yeah, it was pretty crazy for sure. That's yeah. really crazy. And going from that though, like being camera shy, I still like. I remember last time you came on, you were you were talking about it too. Like, a lot of the crew in your shop are pre- still pretty camera shy, right? Like I'd say not like except for Michael. Except for Michael, I'd say <laughs> Michael's pretty Michael like on down. the camera, but some of the other guys aren't as like they're getting used to it though. They're getting used to it right? now. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. So I was. Yeah. Everyone's pretty chill with the camera now. Yeah. Maybe just one or two of the boys that are like still get a little nervous mm-hmm. um but the boys are pretty good with the camera yeah everyone's uh it, it, it's like second nature to them now before we used to all like stare at the camera and just be like, yeah, yeah but what do you do do like five ten takes now yeah. it's just like just take it and just get going and yeah hope oh, for the yeah. best straight bro it is what it is you just gotta start hopping into it yeah because yeah. you don't realize after you just cut whatever the fuck you want yeah, yeah. so like yo you just like fucking uh don't think about that shit in the yeah. moment you That's just can't you just can't you don't have time to keep checking every clip man it's yeah, just, it's just so it's stupid right yeah. bro like on, only akadeep has time to fucking check the camera yeah, like every five he, minutes like is like, it recording it's not even bro? recording right I don't now know That's if it's the recording right now bro like i think you would have to check it oh shit no no actually you want me to click it go for it man no no i actually did you Wait, actually, what? No, I actually, actually stopped recording. I don't know if that matters. Yeah, yeah it's all good. Does we? that matter? No, it's all good. Don't we? No, no, actually, like, yeah, I'm yeah. not sarcastic. No, no, like, yeah, yeah, like camera's off. Like, bro, this guy actually hit it. Like, like, serious, like, fuck, serious. Bro? You I actually just turned podcast? it on. Bro, the whole GTA topic, bro. That shit was sick. No, no, I actually just turned it on. Like, I'm not joking. Like, <laughs> no, I don't check. Believe, I don't believe yeah. you. Check the footage. If I, get, if I get up, I'm gonna have to like un, un, undo it and then redo it. And I'm not doing that. This guy literally tapped the fucking screen, bro. Yeah, this guy knows how to live, get it. Live bro. prank, yo. Live yeah, prank. Yeah, yeah. On okay, call. Live prank. We already did it for one second. Right. Yo, this guy shattered, bro. You should have seen his face. He did. That's you the fucking clip now. Make sure you put a clip in where you zoom into his face after you realize it. Separate clip, bro. When Nick Deep realizes. Never is the only guy that fucks with me, like. Like properly in terms of like like to this day won't make fun of me or just not even make fun oh, of me yeah. just like actually just like no know, make like, fun of him come on give me the credit yeah you do make fun <laughs> of me in there that's true yeah, yeah. But I say you I think Bab gets it worse than me yo oh he gets it hard I man think oh my worse. god actually, he was he, bro Bab, oh, but well, what we, I asked Bab to come to the party he will never come on we'll, we'll go to McDonald's or something yeah. I'm like um I'll get uh, like a junior chicken and he'll get everything on the menu or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, oh and he'll be like, no, no, just a couple of junior. I'll be like, oh, not this time? Like, something like, like I'll go hard, man. I'm <laughs> ruthless. I'm like, oh, do that dirty for <laughs> everything on the menu. Yo, God damn. I remember, yo, when I was like back in the day when I was a little bit bigger, this guy would hold. Back in the day? Back in yeah, the day. What do you mean? Oh my god, yeah. Something's it's changed from back in the day yeah, now? Man, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I, I see is less hair. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the beard, I can't even grow one. I'm yeah. No, dude, like back then. I remember this guy would like this guy was like one of the main motivators of why I wanted to lose every time I go out with this guy. <laughs> that's how you motivate people. Yo, I'm not gonna sick, tell bro. him I'm Yo, good you, job, buddy. You're doing great. Yeah, you go like, five uh, steps in from the from the kitchen to the oven yeah, where your pizza is sitting. Fucking participation trophy, yeah. bro. You should fucking dab this guy up right now. This guy's the reason, bro. I do, I do, I do. That's, bro. that's crazy. Solid, yeah. man. The thing yeah. is, this guy's the only one that do it. This guy, anyone else would do this guy get choked. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah, I would, I would, yeah, yeah. I'd depend on me. I'd start ripping on them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, yo, I mean, that's my yeah. territory, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like stepping yeah. into like the wrong border, you know? It's like, yo, back yeah, up, bro. Yeah, it's reserved, totally bro. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fucking yeah, yeah. solid, man. No, yeah, no one actually made that much fun of you for being big back in the day. No, just like, no, did you, no, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Damn, I didn't get the heat. We come on, we were in soccer, bro. That's where everyone's fit, and he was. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> Inverse. <laughs> this guy was just a fucking negative. Unfit. Yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah, I yeah. was actually such a liability to my soccer team. He now. was a <laughs> no liability, way. bro. This guy was? Bro, it was like <laughs> shit. Like, oh, you're up for nothing and it keeps going on for five minutes. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Like, you don't know like, anymore, right? This, it it might, and he was defender, right? Like, so, like, it's like, you know, it's like the last line of defense. <laughs> you think about the goalie, but when the goalie, the ball's running at the goalie, the goalie usually doesn't, trips out, yeah, usually yeah. doesn't save the day. Yeah. But, Depends on the team, but yeah, yeah. and that's it. It's like it's game over, man. It's four Holy nothing. It's only four one. Oh, four two. Oh, it's going like oh, inside. Oh, four two. Oh, it's game over. God damn, bro. dude. I remember too, cause I uh, 
And there was one point where I, I was able to get my stamina a little bit up, and then at that point wasn't I wasn't liable, but I wasn't an add addition to the team. I said too. Yeah, you I was just, just like, like I was just mid. He yeah, in the start it. he was bad. He, he got better totally. Yeah. But there was this one moment where we, I think it was a ga- I don't know if you remember this. There's a game in Delta we had. Oh my god, it, it was in the me, rain, right? I don't know what it was. It's, I think it was, it was me, rain. him, uh, my dad, and his dad. Yeah. And this guy got an <laughs> own goal. <laughs> own goal, no own goal, way. in the bro, freaking game, in the game, That's in soccer, crazy, bro. bro. How, how do you get do own that? goal in soccer? How do you do that? Right? That's sport, pretty hard, bro. Man. You could do it, it like was, air hockey. I don't know if you remember. I remember it's very strong because I bitched him out on the ride home, bro. Yo, bro my dad like told me to chill, but then I got mad. I was just choked. You're I did like, not talk to him. We literally got in a fight <laughs> in the car. He and this guy's dad was like, Corey, you need like brothers yeah, fight. Like, Corey, like, I was choked, bro. No, I was like, so I was choked. Like, this guy told us that, what do you mean, Corey? Like, <laughs> like, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, like, Corey, you need like, oh, like, why don't I just go start shooting an art goal instead then? <laughs> What's the difference? Yo, like, man. God damn, the fuck is scoring the other goal? How did it happen, Nick Dibai? Well, give us your angle. Okay, How the fuck is scoring the I was trying to pass it back to the fucking <laughs> goalie. <laughs> what? Yeah, right? What is the goalie? Keep him out of the game, man. What's the fucking move, bro? Toe punt, say you know what toe punt is, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, kick yeah, it with yeah. their toe. That's yeah, his yeah. version of passing. That's what it always was. Oh, it was when never was, the flat. He was a toe punter. Yeah, shit, yeah, I yeah. Toe punt. Then I got better, yeah, and then yeah. I was like, okay, I'm better now. Yeah. But bro, I was like to the guy because the guy was like, the defenders behind me, and I couldn't get it out of the way. The only two options was either have the goalie pick it up and have him just boot it up the field, or I kick it out of bounds. Right? And I was like, fuck it, what's the point of kicking out? They're going to be able to inbound. What's the point? They're yeah. going to inbound it. They're going to literally just put it, throw it in and they have potential to get a goal. So I was like, I'll just pass it. Damn, you were thinking goal. a lot in that, like five seconds before you fucking yeah, hit yeah. that ball. Yeah. Yeah. He, was, he, was, he wasn't thinking that. He wasn't thinking that. He was fucking listen, paragraph listen, you're typing right now. He's only thinking about the McDonald's <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 game. That's what he was thinking about. I kicked it. I was like, yo, this guy's just going to grab it. This fucker didn't grab it. It slipped out of his hand and went on the goal. I don't know. Yeah, it did. No, yeah, that it, was not what. Bro, bro, when you pass the ball back to your goalie, he cannot pick it up. That's soccer rules. Yeah, yeah. The goalie mm. can never pick I up the ball. I was just going to kick it, though, too. The goalie like, can never pick up the ball, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, so the problem was, your pass wasn't a pass. It was a motherfucking toe punt, right? Passed him into goal, the net, bro. bro. It was a fucking Oh, kick. my God, bro. I this was guy. so embarrassed, bro. No, yo, did they pay you for that? Like, did somebody, like, turn you over or something? They're like, take He was probably favor? paid, yo. This guy's uh, probably worth it. He was probably worth it. He was after this many years. I feel like it was a tournament game, too. I could be wrong, but. Yeah, yeah. The point is, this guy, like, the live. Ability, right? To give him a little fucking 20 30 yeah, bucks. Yeah, they like, might know. They probably just give him a junior chicken. Like, I didn't to pizza, Lally, burger, yeah, burger, yeah. calling and shit. Yeah, I got you. Say that. If I give him money, they're like, no, no, he's a, I, don't, I don't take money. I'm good. And the big old, take a pizza box. So done deal. Yeah, what do you done, want? Deal, do you want bro, anything bro, else? If I get losing the game, now I'm right hungry. Yo, now you got me hungry. Honestly, Fuck, bro, that's wild. Yo, nah, that that was probably the funniest like soccer moment. I think another moment too was um when uh. It was fuck yo. It was me and you had a tournament that one day. It was like back in the day. It was like it was like you'd have to do like two to three games in one day in Surrey. Like it would be like those like Surrey tournaments. So me and this fucker would like do like two or three games, and then bro, oh, in, yeah. b- in between you go eat or something, right? Bro, I literally was so gassed after the first game. Went to eat. I ate after the second game. We were on the ride to the second game. Bro, I passed out in the car. Straight just. Like you just ate so much food that I you say, fucking you know, you know passed. Dad, you know when your dad can't even be serious, bro. Isn't yeah. it like a ten minute car drive to the nearest fucking McDonald's or something? Like, no, no, it was bad. It was, it was, like, it was uh, dude. I was, I was like, so tight okay. end that, but a game bitch. Yeah, yeah, bro. So tight end that. Dude, I was Kanda. Snorlax, man. God, bro, but the funniest, the funniest, the funniest bro, thing what is, was your quality of life, bro? No, you, the funniest thing is this fucker would eat more than me. He would, he would sleep. Hey. He would sleep later than me. Yeah, and wake up before me. No way. This guy was a machine. You were yeah. just getting deluged at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't my, even my say anything co- back. My comparison was like, yo, like, what the fuck? I knew they came. I was yeah, like, yo, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this guy's dad would yell at him all the time, like, look at him. Like, like look at him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Like, you would just <laughs> look at him, like, in the sense of, like, look at this guy, the shit, you know, like, yeah, like yeah, 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 every time. Like, like, you know, yeah. brown people, yeah, bro. They always, the parents always got to compare to other person's kid that's doing something else. That's like, whatever. I don't think no one. And they'll never see the true side. I think no parent compared their kid to me, although. So I think I was, like, I was blessed. Not no, you probably were. You were no, yeah, you probably were, bro. Yeah, uh, no, no in matter terms what. Of, like, friends and stuff. I don't think so. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? I'm sure. What are you gonna compare to? Oh yeah, this guy's fucking mortal. No, there's oh, always dick. something. It's like oh, like this <laughs> yeah. guy's this guy's Fuck more respectful that. or something. There's always yeah. something. Yeah. Maybe they, yeah, the Desis nice find a way, bro. This, you can't take that away. From yeah, you them. Can't They'll find a way to compare one while you're better than someone else. Yeah, yeah. Like it just happens, bro. It just happens. I'll yeah. be out there like, wait, what? Because like, I eat food, I'm better? Like, what? Yeah. Bro, and sometimes the brown logic just doesn't make sense. They're probably like, active they can
Yeah, yeah it was right. crazy. But yo, one thing I wanted to touch on, right, is uh, so obviously Reaper Customs, right, you get a lot of clientele, like throughout the week, months, whatever, right? And I remember I was talking to you about this a couple months ago. I don't I don't recall exactly what it was, but it was a, a customer experience you had with some with some. It was a guy that was just being super like anal about the rap. Like he's just like, bro, like redo it, redo it. Yeah. I don't, do you remember this? Are, are you? It's kind of get that every week. <laughs> yeah, that's why we get it every week. But it was one specific guy. It was on a. It was on a. It was on a Camaro. We usually don't even have anyone that honest. To be completely honest, it's very rare that we get. No, no, obviously, oh, happens yeah. complaints, but no, it no, does. the thing is, the problem was the rap was perfect. It wasn't the rap. The guy was just nitpicking. Like he's just like, oh, like, could you like? He was like, he was like tripping out over like random things. Like, oh, I mean, like, do you this. remember what color it was? I do remember this. You just gotta film me on the car. It was a Camaro, but I don't know. I don't remember the color, bro. But I was gonna. But I was gonna segue from this to, what's been your most like, what's been the worst customer experience you've had this year? Since, on, since the last pod, I, I'd say overall we probably only had like like honestly like complaint wise like probably like two like complaints mm-hmm. and, and it wasn't even like crazy. There was one where it was like it was after my car accident and the client got mad because uh, I didn't come to go do her car because I got in a car accident. Well, you got an accident this year? No, it was last uh, year, two years ago, which was yeah like, before the pod, and I remember that. Yeah, and and, and the client was mad that I didn't come do it because uh, I got in a car accident. Yeah, oh, and yeah, it was just. Like, just stop, like, like this is irrelevant. But, uh, and the other one was, um, what was it? I think we got, uh, we got fully. So there's this client that brought us their car and it was previously wrapped. Mm-hmm. Um, and they didn't know that. We went to go do it and like wrapped it. We had before pictures and we usually never, like we do sometimes mention it to the client that this is wrong or like usually we don't cause it's usually just a given kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, or sometimes we don't like to point out issues in clients' cars because then they start feeling bad about their car. Yeah. And usually, if it's not something that's critical, then it's it's, it's fine. It's like whatever. Like, yeah. It's like if it's like something that was done, we'll usually just fix it. If it's a couple missing screws, we'll add some screws in. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Um, but we had it where this guy came in and he picked up his car and like he took it to a shop and they told talked about screws and everything. And this guy got choked at us. He was I can't say who it was, but he was so mad. Um. Came to the shop right in the morning when we opened, just yelling at us like, "This was wrecked. This was broken. Uh, this is peeling here, like this, right?" And um, we we go there. I was like, "Yo, like, like, calm down. Like, let's figure this out. Of course, we'll come to a solution." Like, one of the things I I stand very like for is our customer service. I yeah, will make yeah, sure yeah. I go above and beyond. Mistakes happen. 100%. You're a human, right? You're not perfect. You're not a machine. Yeah. But this was one of those situations where it was it was literally we were perfect in this point, and there's nothing wrong. Um, there's screws missing on this thing. We had before pictures. There's knife marks in it. We had before pictures because uh, they were in different spots where the wrap yeah, was yeah. done. And then uh, there's one where the wrap was peeling, but he, his wife took it out the weekend before and hit the front bumper. And you oh, can see shit. it was a rip. And it was like, that was like the only time we've ever had a situation where a client almost got hands-on and physical. Damn. But yeah, it was like crazy. And then right when I told him that he apologized and uh, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. he was uh, he was very happy. And now uh, he, he sends us a lot of clients. Oh, that's yeah. sick, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 yeah. Like that, that was, uh, yeah. You gotta be yeah, nice, keep your, keep your composure. Yeah, you gotta people, be professional. Because most people would, like, fold. They'd be like, what the fuck are you saying to me? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. They start bitching back. Yeah, right? mm-hmm. literally. And that's not the way to go. Because yeah. then you can always find a different person to work on your car, yeah. right? So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah, but there's also limits, too. You don't want to just, like, fold for every Yeah, car, yeah. Right? You, can't, you can't take stuff, but, like, obviously there's respect to it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 